This is Dan Bjorklin, Technical Agronomy Advisor for Landis, and I've been using Sky Scout and reporting on Sky Scout many times. And I have another report. This is on the 21st. Uh, this is on Monday. This is a field I had not scouted before. It's in the um, Collins Maxwell uh, area uh, of the state. And we were using thermal imagery. I looked last night on my iPad and I thought, man, that area of pink looks like an elevated temperature. If there's going to be a disease that infected those plants, that's the area. And I, I use the example of before that human beings, we usually get a temperature before we get the flu or something. So I'm seeing the same thing with these plants using thermal the last three to four weeks. So I walked out uh, into the field and you can see what I found. Look at this gorgeous corn. It's obviously in our three now, I think. Must have been planted really early. Definitely our two. And I think uh, some of it uh, was already in the milk stage. It was past blister. Phenomenal yield potential out here. And I think this is representative of, of many fields. And then you look at what lurks beneath. Used that phrase before. And there we go. This is almost the bottom leaf. Really concerning because... This is southern rust. Now, if we do fungicide, and we've got to get through all of this canopy to reach that bottom leaf, can we get there? Or are we going to protect the, the top part of this plant to the ear leaf? And then in 14 to 21 days, depending upon what fungicide is used, where these, will this be able to reinfect that plant in the next 21 days? That is the question. I think many people are putting on fungicide for the first time. For the susceptible hybrids to this disease, you gotta keep scouting through the middle of August to make sure that you protect us all the way through in the sports analogy, the fourth quarter because southern rust is dangerous. Very interesting, I have been in various areas of this disease indicated part of the field, and the areas in pink, just light pink, demonstrate a slightly higher temperature in the canopy, like the plants are getting sick. So I'm back into areas, and look what I found. A lot of uh, southern rust, leaf after leaf after leaf. I would say this is at exponentially epidemic uh, levels. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's everywhere. And you, you, you take a look at, at some of this corn and the potential. This is R3 corn, beautiful stand. Gorgeous looking corn. Don't let southern rust take 50 to 100 bushels out. It's only July 21st. I recommend Triva Pro or Mervis Neo. I recommend Triva Pro because Syngenta has the best products in my mind with the SDHI for rust. I also recommend Crop Lift, which is a, a abiotic stress reducer that we have with Acre Edge products and Micro Edge Boron with uh, crop lift. This can finish this out and get you 300 bushels in this field. Dan Bjorklund, till next time, Landis Technical Agronomist signing off.